Hi everyone, this is Sana and we're gonna do a write-in review of the Connemara house. The Connemara has been around for quite a while now, I think they have launched it when Mistfall came. Um, but if you consider buying one right now, then this video is for you. We're gonna look at the animations together and also go through all the gates and do an in-depth review of everything you would want to know if you want one. First we're gonna look at the different colors. This one is in Fort Pinta and this is the double grey one. All of the Connemaras are 810 star coins by the way. I'm not gonna say too much about the colors because I think colors are really a matter of personal taste but if you see it compared to the older model here it is obvious that the Connemara has much better textures, much better animations. The next colors we're gonna look at are located in Mistfall, in Dundal. By the way, the Connemaras are originally based in Mistfall. That means that you can only get them when you're at least level 12. This is the Dapplesea brown one. This is the one I am currently riding as well. If you like a bit more unique colors, this might be the one for you. This is the flea bitten one and we don't really have many flea bitten uh, horse colors in SSO. We only have the English thoroughbred and I'm not sure if there will be a flea bitten Jorvik pony at some point, but this is definitely a color I don't see that often. This is the silver dapple Connemara which is also, I think, quite unique because the silver dapple is rather light. We usually have a bit more darker silver dapple ones like the Icelandic horse. The next colors are located at Paddock Island on Jellison Farm. This one is the Dapple Buckskin. It also has something very fiery about it and if I ever buy this horse I would definitely name it something with flame or fire or fox or something. What I find especially cute is the tiger markings on its leg which is completely unique to this one horse. This is the Bay Rowan, which I also literally never see. I don't think I know anyone who owns this horse. I'm not a fan of it either, but if you like something that nobody else has, this is definitely for you. It has a very nice, almost rusty, pinkish color at the body and then a glorious bay head. Now we're gonna look at some of the animations together. The mount and dismount animations. I'm okay with the mount animations. I mean, it's not perfect. Nothing is perfect in SSO, but I have a problem with the dismount animations. I don't know if you saw it, I'm gonna do it again. There is a little distance the character falls when you dismount. It looks very, very glitchy because it's such a short distance. I have compared that with other horses, which are slightly taller, and it just looks more natural when the distance is a bit higher. But because the Kanamara is not very tall, it just looks a bit weird. So this is the leading, or the walking. There are some breeds which hold their heads very high when leading it like that. The Connemara looks completely chill. It's There's nothing bad to say about it. Now we're gonna look at the gates together, which is probably the most important. This is the walk. I also show it in wild horse mode because I think you can see it a bit better when the tag is off. I also show it from the top because I think from the top you can really see how wobbly the back part of the horse is which makes all the gates look very elastic. And here we have the trot which is 
one of my absolute favorite trots in the game. It just looks very not lazy. <laughs> like, I have a problem with most trots because they look very lazy and unenthusiastic. Right, and the trot of the Konamara is just perfect to me. The Kanta is also very nice, it has a nice rhythm. I also think it doesn't look too collected, but it looks very elegant still. Here you can see it in a close-up again. Then we have the slow gallop, which I also really like. People have complained that in the canter and the gallop, the character looks very stiff, and I do get that. The character does look a bit stiff, but I don't think it's that bad, to be honest. I often have problems with gallops because I think they look too rushed somehow, but this one, it looks enthusiastic, but it doesn't look too much. Then we take a look at the jumping. There's also not really much to say to that. You probably know that there are some jumping animations in the game, like for example for the American Quarter Horse, which are just awful, and the Connemara just looks very unforced and natural. All in all, I think the Connemara Horse is a very, very beautiful breed with very well done animations, and the only cons I personally see is the dismount animation and the slightly stiff rider in the faster gates. Other than that, I hope this video helped you with your decision.